Oh, hi, Jack. Hey, Mike. Not you. Hi. Okay. I, I mean, I'm here. So, Jack, thanks for coming on Best of the Worst. Thank you so much for having me, guys. It's great to be here. Yeah, people might know you as uh, some guy in the Hunger Games. Yep. Of course, Huey from The Boys. Sure, yeah. And most recently, the Ghostface Killer in the new Scream movie. We just, we just, you just... Great to be here. Oh, it's great to have you here. So, Jack, this is our Plinketto board. Oh, my God. This has been here the whole time? This has been here the whole time. Wow. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. It, it helps us randomly select terrible movies that it does and we have we have a lot on the docket today huh yeah, yeah let's uh let's let's talk about them okay what is this one because the title's cut off uh enter something interface it's not just another fantasy game these players are serious dead serious i am too yeah about not watching that oh man <laughs> yeah, let's what's after that nailed it uh we got uh dark universe you are well. This is sure ripping off something. It, yeah. Then we got after last season. Uh, it's just two people looking sad or asleep in say, heaven. It looks like they're sleeping. Yeah, they're sleeping in heaven. And I'll, I'll probably be sleeping during that film. Oh boy. Or dead. I hope dead. Uh, then we got Black Scorpion starring Joan Severance. Oh, Severance, that's a good show. That's not what this is. No, no. This looks like a, a combination of Catwoman and Batman. <laughs> uh, it's clearly a superhero movie. Yes, uh, and the, the, the tagline is, Justice has a nasty sting. Yeah, it's a pretty okay. good tagline. Yeah. Um, I thought this was not Brian Bosworth at first. I thought there was uh, Wyatt Russell from a bunch of stuff. Okay, the, the full tilt in your face Action, Action picture, picture of the yeah. year. Is Brian Bosworth a wrestler? I don't know wrestling. I know, I know people that know wrestling. I, I don't know a ton about wrestling. I think That's the perfect. Stone Cold part is confusing me because there's a wrestler named Stone Cold. Okay. Steve Johnson. So, so, is that it? Yeah, 100%. It kind of looks like um, uh, Val Kilmer from Weird. Val angle. Kilmer? Kil Kilmer. Kilmer. Oh, I pulled a rich. This is Val, Val who goes into a kiln. Val, Val Kilmer. 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 Hollywood's hottest actor. And then Choice. And, and then what is, I can't even see the title of this next one. Yeah, it's got some kind of like glossy print. It's so glossy. Uh, Interceptor Force. How do you stop the unstoppable? So we got an interceptor force and we got an interface. Inter yeah, yeah. So some, uh, Ernie Hudson. Oh, good. I hope we land on this one. Yeah. I always love an Ernie Hudson. Uh, I always love an Ernie Hudson flick. Yep, an er Ernie Hudson vehicle never lets you down. And then we have Bog. Right. Yes. Uh, Just Bog. I'm pretty excited about Bog. I'm excited about Bog. And I'm really hoping when you drop the ball, you land on Bog. Yeah. Thunder Run. Thunder Run, which is a canon film. Right. Great. Yes. Can't go Seal wrong with approval. Canon. Yep. And then we have, uh, okay, this one I picked for the board, 100 Million BC. It's an asylum movie that's, I guess, a take on that Roland Emmerich movie, 10, what was it, 10,000 10, BC? I watched this like with my friends at like a sleepover when I was in high school, so, and I remember it being incredible. Ooh. I hope that holds up. Uh, if it lands on it, it's uh, just insane. Rich is looking forward to this one. Oh yeah? Yeah. This was the year he was born. Last, last but not least, without warning. <laughs> Alien terror, uh, whatever. Okay. I didn't see that one. Ready. <laughs> without warning, I you're am gonna ready. Drop, you're gonna drop the ball three times. Yeah. Uh, and you're gonna climb up that ladder okay. behind, the, uh, behind the Plinketto board. Okay. Should I do it now? Do I go up there? Yeah, sure, I guess. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You ready, Jack? Come on, Bog. You can do it. Bog, Bog. Bog, bog. Looking good. Bog, no! Bog! 100 million BC. Yes! 
<laughs> All right. Well, that, that was my well, second choice. What do you know? Oh my God. Oh. Whoa, what lens is this on? Uh, yeah, I'm getting like motion oh, sickness. What the fuck's happening? Whoa! Whoa! Is, 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 he, is he laughing? <laughs> <laughs> He's also getting sick from the camera. I used to be America's dad. <laughs> <laughs> How'd I end up in an asylum film? Now I'm here in the valley with you fucks. This is... This is Griffith Park. I've, had, I've, I've done this hike. Drop number two! Bog. Oh no, it's going oh, the wrong way. Oh, it's going the fuck. wrong way for Bog. Uh, oh no, what is it? Stone Cold. Oh. Lance Hendrickson's in it. Who? Uh, oh. 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 Let's go. Holy shit. All right. All right. I'm in. Here we go. Oh, yeah, oh, not the wrists. wrists. <laughs> They're so dry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then at that point, you shoot the chips. <laughs> Charlie, unload the cash drawers. This is a lot of firepower for a local grocery store. Oh, God. Okay, I take back what Roll I said it. about him looking like Wyatt Russell. He does not. <laughs> what the fuck is he wearing? No. Oh, oh, oh Crisco. Lift. <laughs> Drop number three, here we go. I'm back. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. Hey. Is it bug? It's bug. See, we got a natural bug. Natural bug, baby. <laughs> hey. ah. Whoa. Ooh. Oh no. Just fell out of his boat. <laughs> What am I looking at? Is that a what? Sasquatch? What, what is, is that? that? Is that a... Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> wait a minute. Lifestyles of the rich and famous? What are we looking at? Is that a biker Sasquatch? I don't... I get... Okay, this looks like a tourist film. Welcome yeah. to sunny New Haven. Where you can get murdered by a tiny little Sasquatch. <laughs> so let's talk about our very first uh, film. This is uh, 100 million BC. Uh, when I was in high school, I used to be the president of the Bad Movie Club at my school, and this was uh, watched a lot. I, I, I remember it being about people who take pills to go back in time to the dinosaur age. Take your fucking pills! <laughs> <laughs> That's it! What? That's it. <laughs> Why did take he the do that? Pills. <laughs> Why is he so angry? I don't know. Love it. That, that's about all I remember, but I remember being a, a real crowd place at this point. It's got the Godzilla cover ripoff? Yeah, it's also sort of Jurassic Park Jurassic in a way. Park, yeah, yeah, there's like a Tyrannosaurus terrorizing helicopter people in some so uh, fashion. So it does not take place in 100 million BC because I see like uh, buildings. Well, just just wait. Okay. I'll, just wait. I'll, you don't I'll know the twists and turns that this takes. This goes, this goes everywhere. No. Frank. Frank. No. 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 No, Frank. Frank. Seriously, no. No. Ten more minutes of that. <laughs> Unless the connection is closed, the weak energy condition will continue to expand the wormhole until it absorbs everything. No. No, Frank. No, no. Frank. He's saying that someone has to stay behind to close the portal. What? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Remember me? <laughs> <laughs> that was a shot, like, directly out of a Sucker Brothers movie. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, this says, scientists discover time travel with horrible consequences sure. when they inadvertently bring a giant carnivorous dinosaur back to modern Los Angeles. Oh, so they, okay, I, I think I guess, that, I guess that was all the twists and turns. Oh, we spoiled it. Yeah, spoiled by reading what they gave me. Um, they go back in time and they bring something back. What's that little blurb on the front say? Oh, the blurb says, an elite military team sent back in time. They will not return alone. Take your fucking pills! It's got special, it's got a blooper reel in the special features. I don't know if you guys ever go that deep. Uh, well, it's probably the actual film. Yes. <laughs> of course, of course. Okay, all right. Well, I'm, look, I'm really looking forward to yeah, this Yeah, let's one. go watch it. Yeah. What are you guys doing? Oh, I don't know. Thought you would like, there would be like make us like super fast and we like. Nope. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Are you going to cut or should I hold this? Hold that the whole time while I talk about Stone Cold Got with it. Brian Bosworth. <laughs> the full tilt in your face action picture of the year by Paul Sherman of the Boston Herald. Oh God, you, you may want to relax a bit. That's like 5,000 words on the back. You told me, you told me to hold this, go for it. Okay, Stone Cold Snacks up the, the prime of the 1991. When it comes to nonstop action, Stone Cold is red hot. Oh shit. Brian Bosworth makes his motion picture debut as John Stone, the only tough cop tough enough to take out a gang of Stone Cold killers. Going undercover, he has to pose as an outlaw biker to win the trust of the diabolical gang leader Chains, played by Lance Henriksen, of oh my Johnny God, it's still going. and the Terminator. Sorry, I got to take a look. My balance is fucked. Thought it'd be way better. It's on the shoes. Oh yeah, these have no arch support. Go Stone soon discovers there. Stone soon discovers there's more to this gang of bikers than heavy metal mayhem. They're plotting a paramilitary Sweating. assault on the state capitol to rescue Sweating. a gang member sentenced to execution in a spectacular climax that puts Die Hard to shame. Yeah, right. John is up against a gang of his own. And the killers soon discover that if you go up against John Stone, he'll burn you cold, ellipses. Stone cold. Please tell me that's it. That's it. Fucking A, holy oh, shit. shit. Oh, we gotta, we gotta get it, it again? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna switch it. legs. So, yeah, okay, here we go. Shoot the wires. Yeah! Oh, that's the truck. Is it that easy to detach the back part of the truck? <laughs> Not at all. I hope it's that easy. Guns can do it. <laughs> The poor gas station of <laughs> time. How many people just got through? <laughs> well, it. I guess I'll close up shop. <laughs> See you guys later. What's that? A detached truck. <laughs> Everything explodes l a little bit before it's supposed to in this movie. Yeah. I definitely know this from. Okay, so we were choosing movies, uh, and this caught my eye. Bog. Um, I like a title that's just where it's set. One word, bog. just bog, it's simple. Not messing around. Uh, I read the back and then we watched the trailer and we loved it. It's coming, a creature from the bog. Like what the hell do we have out there? I don't know, I wish I did, I just don't know. We died. There was one line in particular mm -hmm. that made us laugh really, really hard. Could we have a Dracula running loose out there? And it's, it landed on it. It's perfect. It's, okay, so it's the, it's the, the 70s movie. Yes, which I thought it was like a, like a more recent asylum movie or something. It's, it's, a, very... it's repackaged to trick you. The, the original yeah. poster is on IMDb and we'll show that here. It's of course a little more dated. This is kind of kind of playing off modern movies. Okay, the synopsis is when a local fisherman uses dynamite instead of bait in Bog Lake, he not only shatters the serenity of the waters, but he awakens a beast who has long laid dormant. A mutant creature who emerges only to feed has been disturbed and is now determined to eat its fill. Terrorizing the locals on its bloody rampage, the town is at a loss over how to destroy this enormous monster. Now it is up to one woman, biologist Ginny Glenn, to beat the beast at its own game and save the people before it's too late. Mm -hmm. Of course. Here we go, here we go, here wait, we go. Wait, wait, wait. Can we oh. see it? Neil, Neil, no, not that way, Neil, my God, Neil! Whoa, whoa! That guy's name is Neil? <laughs> <laughs> now we know. Now we know. Watch out, Neil! <laughs> I'm just drunk enough to do this. Whoa! Bug monster! Uh, 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 uh. Well, I, for one, am very excited to watch Bog. As am I. This is a... Uh, it looks amazing. This is a new classic for me. Just the trailer. Just we'll the trailer out. alone. We'll find out. I'm, I'm, I'm putting all of my eggs in the bog basket, but uh, I'm so excited. What? This is so the sh Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, look at what Jack's doing. That's gonna happen. The sheriff and the, the coroner are in love? Now for over is, six years. I mean, we gotta hang on to something. Yeah. I'd like to change that. Uh, let, me, let me finish. I'm <laughs> gonna get this off my chest. 
It isn't necessary. Uh, no. I'm expecting so much human oh. emotion. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> the dust starts coming up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a kiss from a bug. A kiss from a bug. Dustin bats. <laughs> <laughs> We couldn't get anyone under 70 in this film. <laughs> but we want a romance. <laughs> what the fuck? So, uh, well, we're back. So, uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. We'll do that again. I'm sorry. We're, we can't go back. We got to no. keep moving forward. Oh, fuck. Uh, this is a new Plinketto. Um, we sh we watched three movies, and Jack. Uh, once we're done shooting this, you're you're off to work on Christopher Nolan's new film, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. No, very it's very exciting. Uh, no, it's very exciting. It kind of just uh, came up out of the blue, and I, I don't know. I'm just really excited to get started. It'd be great. Mm. Yeah. What's the film? Uh, Oppenheimer. Oof. He's playing with fire, making a movie about a guy who makes a bomb. I sure hope it's good, because if it's not, you know what all the critics are gonna say. It sucks. Anyway, we watched three great, <laughs> great movies. Yeah, usually it's when we do like a plinketto or something, it's whoever uh, dropped the ball explains the movie, but you dropped it for all three, so. Mm -hmm. All right, I guess we'll start with 100 million BC. Uh, I'm gonna go I'm with- I am the oldest man here. You hated it, I think, the most, so I want <laughs> I you to introduce it. Okay. Uh, 100 million BC, which is about my age. Oh, Rich, you're not that young. Come on. Oh, come on. You needed an extra wide driver's license to fit all those O's. <laughs> uh, it's a movie starring Michael Gross. Yep. Who, who I guess he helped me with the, the Philadelphia experiment. And his yeah, back in the day, his friends all got sent back to dinosaur times, and so he spent his entire life working on the science to send him and a team of military personnel to get them back. And then dinosaurs eat everybody, and then a dinosaur comes to the city, and 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 then they didn't know what to do. They didn't know what to do for the last for half hour of the movie. So long. <laughs> it's ironic because this film was was cast with dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> we saw them kissing and smooching and all sorts of things. They were trying to make little baby dinosaurs. <laughs> there was all sorts of dinosaurs in that film. Well, I guess the only thing to do is get inside of them. It's, it's the, is this the first time we've done anything Asylum? It is. Is we, it really? We, yeah. we, we generally avoid Asylum. I did not actually realize that. No. Okay. Because a lot of the Asylum movies that we've seen or previewed are, yeah. are boring scenes in like submarines where everyone's just talking. Right. This was the most exciting Asylum movie I've ever seen. Until it wasn't. Until it wasn't. Oh my God, it's the same street. Yeah. Oh, okay. This guy, this guy <laughs> Rich is done. Just sleeping. Oh yeah, that kind of yellow. I'm so sorry, Rich. But but for an asylum movie, it was kind of nonstop. Yeah. Nonstop action. Yeah. yeah. And and more technically, uh, I mean, not that they're super high production value usually, but more technically inept. Like mm -hmm. all the ADR. I think the whole movie is ADR. Yeah. I don't. I feel like nobody's no, no one's voices are actually their voices except for maybe Michael Gross. Yeah. You've been here. Six years? Well, give or take. Forgot my calendar, Doc. Dramas wipe their claws in their own feces. If the initial attack doesn't kill them, the inevitable infection will. Like, it's all overdub and it's all crap still. Yeah. Um, I was wrong in my uh, summary of it when I was over there. <laughs> Uh, when I said they take pills to go back in time. Right, right, right. It wasn't the case. They took pills to protect their body from the effects of time travel, although they apparently didn't work on Michael Gross because he was 
Like, you, did yeah. you say he was losing his mind? I, he looks like he's gone fucking crazy. Yeah, he's, he's like, completely <laughs> normal. The opening, the the, the, <laughs> the briefing stuff where he's explaining to all the soldiers what the plan is, what yeah. the science is. He's like fine. Michael yeah. Gross is a professional actor. Totally. But the minute they travel back in time, <laughs> like he has just gone off the fucking rails. Is, is he just the best actor? Is he the only one? who remembers that the atmosphere is supposed to have 50% less oxygen, and he's the only person bothering to act like it. This actually is a really good point. Ugh. <clears throat> I'm not kidding. I could have been a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> what? I remember that so vividly. He goes, I could have been a lawyer. Woo! <laughs> oh. It looks like some of it's actually shot I think so. like that. It looks yeah. good. I mean, it's probably ground level, yeah, but... Yeah, they're like on the ground. Uh, oh my god, the wow. helmet! Thank was god she was Thank god she was <laughs> This movie's about the importance of helmets. <laughs> Can we start with that? The opening shots of the movie, shockingly bad green screen, mm -hmm. where you see the green like bleed in the, the hair. Oh, yeah, yeah, that whole opening that. with the hikers was like a, a brilliant experimental short film. Yeah. It's not even necessary, really. You could have taken no. that out, and the movie would still work. No, well, you want to have your exciting opening. No, wrong. It ties okay. the whole fucking movie together. Because they find the the oh the, 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 the skull, skull yeah embedded in the rock and we laughed initially yeah. foolishly we laughed <laughs> how <laughs> foolish we were gentlemen yeah how silly is it that there's a completely intact T Rex skull in the rock yeah ha 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 but really it's because yep it got transported into the past and stuck in the rock it's actually pretty cool that was actually pretty yeah. cool. It made sense, so you're wrong. But my favorite part of that whole, <laughs> you're wrong, Spider-Man. The important part is, <laughs> the important part is, I am wrong. That's, 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 what, that's the point I was trying to make, is that you're wrong. There were certain moments where the actors just like became sleepy. I thought so. <sighs> <sighs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Or they were, I don't know, one scene they were like, yeah, we gotta get the dinosaur. We gotta get the dinosaur. <laughs> just in the middle of a line. Yeah, in the they middle of a line, asleep. they were just like tired. Why is everybody bored at random <laughs> intervals? <laughs> Every now and then people are just like, I'm, I'm tired. It's because they didn't film any coverage, and so that, that's just like camera tests. That's what they like, have, yeah. It's just all they have, yeah. <laughs> Are we ready to roll? Are we ready to roll? Probably what it is. You're probably right. Oh, you're almost certainly right. Yeah. <laughs> it is weird because, yeah, most of the dinosaur effects are shitty CG. It looks like almost like a stock CG model that you could just buy. Yeah. Um, but then occasionally there was a rubber puppet. I was very yeah. shocked that they bothered to use a rubber puppet. We gotta get in close. When we get in close, they're gonna see that the special effects are bad. So we gotta, switch it to, we gotta switch to puppets. They look fucking seamless in the wide shots. Yeah. But. <laughs> but up close, that's where it gets dangerous. These stealth dinosaurs that don't even have to move their feet to attack someone. The, uh, <laughs> the, my favorite shot, that I, it's still embedded in my brain, is the raptor that just comes by, like slides in, and just goes Nyong! and does takes he, him away. Does he move? Does he just like slide in? Like, I don't think his legs move. <laughs> I might be wrong, but it just kind of seemed like he was like. The head moves a tiny bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing out here. Oh, here we go. Uh -oh. Don't tell me he dies. Here we I think he does. Jesus Christ, Burke. We're not going to do it. <laughs> 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 it's so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Attacked by clip art. I just, yes. I just love how it slides in there and just goes. Nyam. It's like two frames of footage. <laughs> What's the frame count? Give oh, me a frame oh, count. Oh, are we Jane? estimating? Let's we'll yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm saying six. I'm gonna say Jack. twelve. 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 What frames. are you nuts, Jack? There's frame 24 frames in a second. From, from uh, off screen to grab, or the entire. The whole, the whole removal yeah. of guy. <laughs> removal of man. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I think his name was Manriquez. Are you talking frames or seconds? Frames. Not seconds. There's 24 frames in a second. S frames, Jay. I'm going with six. Like, okay. Okay. Twenty. You, Jack, See, you say I'm 20. saying twelve. Twelve. You, uh, you know, twelve sounds fine. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with twenty as well. Okay. Twenty frames. Okay. All right. Well. There's not a blood stain, he's just gone. Yeah. Just out of the shot. 
same shot. That was the same animation. Oh, shit. I love the digital camera shake for yeah. the footsteps. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, oh shit, what the it? fuck? Did you Whoa. see him? Did you see him whoop? Yeah, he's like a, like, a, like a video game character. They Super Mario that shit. But yeah, the, the the I think the worst special effect in the movie is whatever the lake creature is. Oh, oh wait, oh. something's wait. happening. <laughs> wait, what? Something's in the water. Bad editing's in the water. <laughs> what? Is, what is? What did you fell in a mud? Oh, fuck! <laughs> Fucking zats in the water. <laughs> Dr. Reno is a civilian SES-5 that is the rank equivalent of an admiral. Which means keep your goddamn mouth shut. Thank you, Chief. Go ahead, Doc. I graduated from MIT in 1942. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to do my part in the war effort. We're here for a screening of Tremors 4 Aftershocks. <laughs> He's great in Tremors. Play. He's great. He's great in all the Tremors. He's really great. Uh, a, a, a crack team and Navy SEALs or special ops guys go back in time to 100 million BC. To rescue survivors from the Philadelphia right. experiment. We're all, all Michael Gross's friends. We're all Michael Gross's friends and his brother and his lady friend. Mm -hmm. Remember the awkward kiss moment? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, they got so close. And then just like, just transported forehead. away. Uh, and then the, uh, all of them die. Half of them die. Yeah. So many My, people die in this movie. Michael Gross says, I gotta stay behind. And then like six hours of them running through the streets at the end. We'll say 38% of the film, it takes place of them running around trying to find the third street tunnel. Yep, more running. To trap the dinosaur. And I love how they say it like it's a very like, like famous Los Angeles landmark. It's just this like boring white tunnel. But they never explain what, how they're going to trap it. They're gonna get it in the tunnel. And then do what? I don't know, I, I guess the tunnel's just, open on both ends. It just walks out, I guess. <laughs> no, they, they put road cones on one end. And they act they as- They didn't do oh, that yeah. though. They, well, the city did, or the, the military did. They act it's as just like Just like these city workers who have no idea what's going on, they're like, they said to put cones here. I don't know, I don't know why. Uh, they said a, these are supposed to stop a dinosaur, but nothing about this makes sense to me. <laughs> They know dinosaurs, and they know dinosaurs always obey the law. <laughs> a dinosaur will not cross traffic cones. Oh shit, cones. <laughs> nah, I can't. Interestingly it's against the enough, dinosaur though, code. <laughs> the, 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 the guy, what, William H. Macy, the long hair? Yeah. He says, ironically, he says dinosaurs are smart. Mm -hmm. They may have small brains, but they're super smart, and they're not gonna fall for a, tri a trick like being lured into a tunnel. Mm -hmm. Let's lure it into a, a tunnel. tunnel. <laughs> but as long as it's the third street tunnel, we might Maybe have a Maybe the third street tunnel, it might, it might fall for that one, but uh, uh. That arrow's gonna go through its skin. Yeah, of course. Yeah, the arrow would work. This was set up earlier, because he's great at this. Oh, so okay. Maybe he's gonna hit it right in the eye, or something. Or maybe he's gonna hit the electrical tower. Oh, that would be. That no, would be he just went for the dinosaur. Oh. And, that, and not, nothing happened. Nothing happened. <laughs> 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 yeah. Then they don't know what to do, so they're standing at the end of the tunnel for like the next 15 minutes. Oh God. They're just standing there until suddenly a 1950s tank materializes behind them. And this is right after, for some reason, uh, there was like a helicopter shot, and they were like CG helicopters, and one of them, like before the shot ends, just like out of existence. Alpha command. Oh, it disappeared! Oh, it disappeared. <laughs> shot, it just flipped out. Half yeah, it just wasn't there anymore. Really. Yep. It really feels like, yeah, a collection of stock footage that they assembled in an edit, and then they said, what do we need to make this make sense? Yeah. And they failed to make anything make sense. That is kind of fun when they're, they have the tunnel, like you can see in the background that they got it blocked off to keep like, yeah. you know, cause they're filming a movie there. Yeah. And then the other streets where you see random people in the background, there's one shot with like an actual crackhead. Um, <laughs> How did you know that? There's, well, he looked like a lunatic. He was waving his arms around for no reason. He didn't seem like an extra, he just felt like a guy that was like, ah, I'm a movie crew. Yeah. Like, he just seemed scared. 10,000 10, BC is a caveman versus Egyptians. It's oh, a okay. completely different movie. Yeah. I think they got Woolly Mammoths building the pyramids. 
Right. At any point, did they try and lure a woolly mammoth into a no into a tunnel? No. no. Okay. Does anyone bring up the Philadelphia experiment? No. <laughs> Um, Does Michael Gross shit his pants? <laughs> oh yeah, that was what we were saying. Like, I think he's shitting his pants constantly. <laughs> movie. Oh my God, his face expressions. All I think of is pooping. It's just like <laughs> fire up those fart sound effects. Yeah. I mean, he could be wearing depends. <laughs> <laughs> Put on your fucking diapers. <laughs> uh, I always thought you were kind of sweet on Frank. Well, who wasn't hot for Frank? Everybody had the hots for Squirt. Squirt? Right, Squirt? Squirt? Squirt. That's what he's doing is depends right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they call him Michael Gross. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh my god, is, is he finally leaving to take a shit? It's so great. It's so good. Until it's not. Oh, oh, all right. I'm yeah. so sorry. I'm gonna go get something to drink. <sighs> hey Jeff, wait a second. Yeah? You're, uh, you're going off to film with uh, Christopher, right? Christopher yeah. Nolan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, would you mind giving him the script I wrote? I think it might be perfect for him. Well, it's, um, it's called Top Hat Monkey Goes West. It's an original script I wrote. I mean, just you know, make do it casual. You know, just. Uh, yeah, uh you, you want me? To... Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. Just, just, um, you know, yeah. I know it says it's written by him. I think he might want to attach his name to it okay, after, yeah. after he reads You're it. Just kind of course. preemptively putting his name on it. Yeah, okay. uh, I, I have I have that much much confidence. Okay. In, in it. So. Great. Yeah, I'll just. Uh, um, if you don't mind, I mean, yeah. if it's not too awkward, just. Sure, I'll just. I'll just okay. throw it in my backpack or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Right. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Just when there's like like you know some downtime and. The like lull. Yeah, just hand it to him. Okay. Just, uh, he's gonna love it. Yeah. He's gonna want to make it his next film. Yeah. So fucking trust me. So after Oppenheimer, it's. Yeah. It's Top Hat Monkey Goes West. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah. 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 All right. Oh, 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 yeah, sorry. You grab sorry, I keep forgetting I'm in charge. You're like, our next uh, film? All right, our next film is Stone Cold, and I would like Jay to explain it. Oh, my lord. Stone Cold is the most masculine movie ever made. Yeah. Well, this is, this is one that I think is, it's been on the Plinketto board before, and it's one that I think people have like been like, you gotta do Stone Cold. Yeah. And when it starts, you're like, okay, kind of corny action movie. Like, I, I think I know what I'm getting into. And then it is just, the first act of this movie is the best thing you'll ever see. It's incredible. Damn, whoa, oh. <laughs> Look at those so moves. I mean, <laughs> muscular. <laughs> I mean, holy shit. That was the hottest shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Second act, fine. And then the third act is insane. Yeah. Uh, Brian Bosworth, who was an NFL player for this team. He played the sports ball. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if his mullet played or not, but he certainly played. <laughs> um, and we start with a scene from Cobra where there's a big, a bunch of like, like coked out lunatics robbing a grocery store. With like AR-15s. They, they really, they just want to steal all those boxes of Batman cereal. And uh, <laughs> shooting, they're, they're shooting the food. They're shooting, shooting all the Ritz crackers. Yeah. And they're sweating profusely. Something's wrong with these men. Um, no, so there's a big shootout at the, the grocery store. What's his name? Stone Cold. Uh, I, oh, it's Joe, right? John, John Stone. Oh, John Stone. Oh, no. <laughs> they Motion called him Joe at one point. I thought oh. they said Joe. Yeah. 
When it comes yeah. to nonstop action, Stone Cold is red hot. Brian Bosworth makes his motion picture debut as John Stone. Oh. May, unless the box has it wrong. I thought they said Joe. It I, doesn't really matter, does it? No, it doesn't. doesn't. His name is Stone because everyone's name is a one-syllable, yes. like, yeah. somewhat badass biker-related thing. We get chains and uh, chains, what are some tool, of the uh, ice, ice. Um, and Nancy. Nancy, who's the, who's the odd one out? Yeah. R.I.P. Nancy. <laughs> Bring all the guns you have to the Ralphs. <laughs> right. <laughs> what are you gonna get? A couple hundred bucks? They couldn't film at a bank. Right, okay. No. Well, he's doing a thing where it's like he knows what's going on, but he's playing it cool. He's so cool. He's so yeah. fucking when guys cool. with like machine guns take over a grocery store. He, he They're attacking girls with he braces. Doesn't, like, yeah, he doesn't yeah. break a sweat. Yeah. Yeah, and I think he, what was his uh, one liner? It was like, clean up on aisle four. Yeah. Once the, once the cops show up. Well, that's, yeah. Up. I mean, this is, this is almost a parody. He's such a hard ass cop. It starts with him already having been suspended from the force. Yeah. Oh, we shit. Don't, we don't even get the scene where he gets kicked off the force. It's just a given. I was wondering I want your about your badge. That. Yeah, we don't even get that. <laughs> I, I was wondering about his status at the beginning because he's in yeah. the, he's in like a lady's leather jacket <laughs> and he's shopping <laughs> with, and I'm like, He's a cop? Like like what kind of cop? Like a detective? Like a like a like a uniform cop? He's a cop that shoots everyone. But then we have that moment where the chief comes in and he's like, You're a loose cannon, like that scene happened. You've already yeah. been suspended from the force. Yeah, the, the the police chief is like, You're already a loose cannon. <laughs> Joe, what the hell's going on? You're still on suspension. Let me see you sweet talk your way out of this one. Huff. Oh. You gotta say for yourself this time. You gotta clean up on aisle four. Clean up on aisle four, hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this feels kind of like a sequel to a movie that doesn't exist. Yeah, like that's that's what we were saying, right? Like this was like the, the like there was a this is the dark the middle movie. chapter. Of yeah, the, the dark middle trilogy. chapter. Of the Stone this is Cold this Cold. is a this is a work of art, and I I I mean that almost almost kind of literally, where it's like it, it's it's like the impressionist painting. Of a of a '80s action story, you know, it's like it doesn't make sense as a story, but it kind of resembles one. Yeah. Right. Every <laughs> scene, you is, get it. Every scene is dudes shoving each other around, and by the end of it, you don't know what happened, but you can follow it. I don't know what he's doing, but this is bad guy establishing how tough he is. Scene. Absolutely. Well, when they established the bad guys, it was like these really quick cuts of like all of them like partying and like shooting things with like Uzis off of each other's shoulders yes. and heads. Oh, and they're like, bikers. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They're like shooting into a crowd, but nobody's really dying or anything. And or they're ducking like, or moving. They're throwing each other, and then one guy's like smoking a cigar and blows up a judge who's on a boat, like just this old judge. They, they kill a priest who's doing a baptism yeah, with a like, shotgun, and he flies through the, the stained glass window of the oh, church. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Give me the fucking baby. Oh, what, what the fuck? Oh. Ah. Yeah. 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 All the bikers were just outside the window. What the hell was that? They don't like baptisms. <laughs> People fly through windows so much in this movie. Yeah. But like this, they're like the, yeah. like that way. Like so, sometimes they're stunt doubles, sometimes they're dummies. And they always yeah. explode. Always and they explode. always explode. Everything always explodes a little bit before it should. Like in a yeah. way that should be a deliberate joke, but it's not. No. <laughs> like, you know. Gunshots outside the records office. Oh. <laughs> 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 Fucking Christ. We, we, we should talk about the, the plot. Okay. A little bit. Sure. But because the, the last and act real, of this real movie. Real quick, I want to interject. It is, is it is not perfect. It has a glaring flaw. We'll, we'll get to well, it. Sure, sure, sure. But but I'm talking about I the last act. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, he's undercover. Uh, they're, they're, they're like, you're the best of the best of the best, even though we've suspended you several times. <laughs> Why does the FBI need him and only him for this? Just, I don't know. Is it just he, because he's the best of the best? He's the best of the best. Well, they okay. show up at his door and he's wearing like a thong and he like just had sex with a lady. <laughs> well, if that's what you need to get you started, are you a little bit cranky this morning, Joe? I wasn't into these Thanks. Whoa! Oh my God. <laughs> Good for him! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I thought the back would be a lot worse than it is. Okay. Say hi to the schmuck. Hiya. Hiya. 
Now that we've established I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so he, yeah, he's the best of the best of the best, even though he's terrible. Um, and they come to him to, who is it, the FBI comes to him? You've logged more biker-related arrests than any other officer in Alabama. To go undercover in this, like, horrible uh, Nazi Confederate uh, biker gang that yeah. loves all going the bad to strip things. All, the bad, all things. the bad things. All the bad things. And there's, there's like hints of like a buddy cop thing that never that takes never, off the ground. Yeah, which I would have loved actually. That would have been kind of amazing because like they kind of assign him with this FBI guy played by who plays him? Uh, his name's Sam McMurray. Yeah, he's in character so much actor stuff. man. Yeah, uh, and he's like a hypochondriac, and he's like yeah, they set, they set up all yeah. his like like insecurities. Just Dist still ladies action yeah. movie. It's like the essence of it is in there, but. Yeah. Story-wise, it's not in it. Brian Bosworth is like, I don't know, just very stoic. So like, it makes sense they would pair him with a guy that's a little like, and like, oh, I don't know what's going on. A little, you know. It should have been uh, like a more comedic actor. This is, you cast like Damon Wayans in that role yeah, or something. Sure. Martin Short. <laughs> I would have loved to see Martin Short in this movie. Yeah, I would have loved to see Martin Short in the Brian Bosworth role. That would, <laughs> then you would have the perfect movie. Clean up on aisle four. <laughs> But like everybody plays it straight. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah. They they kind of set him up as like the funny sidekick. Yeah. When they go to the strip club, the tit for tat. Tit, tit for, for tat. tat. Tit for tat. Yes. <laughs> Great name. Great name. <laughs> Oh my like, God. I know I'm not on the panel, but best of the worst. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, you gotta look a little tougher. And so he rips the shirt, the sleeves off his shirt. And then gives him a backwards hat. Yes. Yeah. And he looks like Ernest. <laughs> and he's Ernest like, he's goes like, to tit for tat. Ernest goes to tit for tat. <laughs> what happens in the strip club? Like that's like his first. Uh, it doesn't matter. Everybody. It doesn't matter. Yeah. There's there's <laughs> boobs and there's fighting and they fight. You can't you can't get hung up on why things are happening. You just have to get hung up on what is happening. This club's one six owned by the Brotherhood. Truckers get their rocks off by watching the girls dance. That's the idea behind strippers. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for explaining to me what's going on. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Men go to strip clubs to look at naked women dancing in front of them. Because it pleases them. <laughs> like writing notes, like interesting. Yeah. <laughs> when a man loves a woman very much. <laughs> We have to talk just a little bit about the nudity in this movie because it's almost like a horror movie in terms of jump scares. Like there's that like, like there's that one scene where that girl's playing pool and like all, and like she's wearing a vest and all of a sudden they're like boom and it's just like you're almost like whoa like it's like a. <laughs> Confederate flag, yeah. another Confederate flag, another Confederate flag. Oh, no, oh is this video? Show your tits! <laughs> oh my god. Have fun censoring this episode. Yeah. This bar is. Huh? <laughs> it's like hyper gratuitous. Oh, oh it's yeah. like the, insane. Well, that's after the tit for tat scene, that's when we get like a like a tracking shot of oh, this their shot. compound, the the bad guy bikers compound, yeah. and it is possibly the most brilliant shot in cinematic history yeah. because we pan across. Uh, just fully nude women taking a shower in I think public. I think it's the, no, no. Na the Nazi flag oh, na first. Nazi flag, naked ladies naked taking a shower, tiny shower. children. <laughs> tiny children. <laughs> just in one shot. Just like, hey, this place is fucked. Yeah. Brilliant, perfect, comedic timing. Whether it's intentional or oh. not, it is, it is perfect. There's only so many parts oh of a god. bike. <laughs> just a Nazi flag? Like a Nazi flag. Oh, great. Oh, oh my god. My god. <laughs> Everything that's wrong with and the children. world is in this shot. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best movie ever made. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, so they, they, uh, uh, Stone goes to the compound and he meets up with Ice. They have like a little bike race, like a little bit. Yeah. And Ice is like, damn it, because <laughs> Stone wins. He beats Ice. And then there's like a pit where people just beat each other up and then throw each other <laughs> to the crowd. <laughs> it's just the people throwing pit. Yeah, where they pick them up by simultaneously like the, the neck and the dick and just throw them. You just throw them. <laughs> Just thinking about it, and and he does have a race with ice on the bikes, mm -hmm. which is set up 
for later on when he literally has to chase Ice down to kill him. Yeah. Because yeah. he knows his secret. It's it's mm. set up and pay off. This is yeah. this is this is why I say this is the perfect film. Well crafted. We'll it's, say it's, well crafted. Yeah, absolutely. Over it. <laughs> <laughs> guess, this, guess this ice is hot. Oh my god! Nancy has a, has a, a change of heart yeah. after seeing some extreme violence and murder. Well, she she tries to leave, and then our hero tells her not to. Yeah, he. I think he's and, responsible for what happens to her. And then, like, and then well, she dies. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Holy shit. I think he hit her shoulder or something. I think he hit her in the forehead. I don't think it didn't look like it. Back like it hit her in the head. Yeah, she gets punished for having character growth. Yeah. She's the only one in the movie that has any sort of arc. She's and then she gets shot in the head. And she's like not a bad actor either. Like no, she's you know, like she's not allowed to complete her growth. This she's is, not allowed to change. This she's is not, not the movie for that. No, no. This is not the movie but for it's, that. But it's almost like again, like with this whole like, is it a parody, is it not thing? Like, are they making a commentary? You know, like they're giving her all this character growth. That's awesome. This is like a different kind of action movie. No, they just shoot her in the head. I like it is so weird. I think it was the divergence from a formula that might have made this movie a bigger hit than it was. <laughs> it's got it's got the deadly prey problem where they remember oh, deadly prey. Yeah, yeah. They killed the wife at the end. And you're just like it gets oh. like really miserable. Yeah, and you get out of this movie as opposed to yeah, he just kicked ass. You're just kind of like oh yeah, everyone's mm, dead. Yeah. We all thought it was gonna be like a scene at the end where she's like alive in the hospital, right? Yep. Yep. The yep. the what is it monitor lizard? comes in, like licks her face, mm -hmm. and they're like all, they're all happy, they're a little family now. Yeah. And then you freeze frame on them all smiling. And we think she's, because to me, it happened so fast. I, I didn't see, like I didn't a, see it either. Yeah. You guys did, but I, yeah, we didn't see it. If you want to dissect weird things that happen in a bizarre movie, killing her off is the more interesting choice. Mm -hmm. But having, having her survive and being with him at the more monitor satisfying. lizard at the end would have been the more crowd-pleasing thing to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. That, that becomes a running thing throughout this movie, is that uh, uh, John Stone is the worst. Yeah, it sucks. He's so He's bad at his job. He's the worst at his job. He gets many, <laughs> many people killed. He yeah. does not succeed at the, the whole point of his mission. The and chief had every right to just fire him. Yeah. And that's where judged as an 80s action film, it is not perfect. Because... I'm going to say that aspect of it makes it so it, much more it, interesting. It makes it more interesting, yeah. but as far as being an 80s action film, even though this is early 90s... It's like 91. It yeah. is it's imperfect. Still. Because... He does not save the girl. The girl dies. The girl gets um, shot in the fucking head. Shot, and we're, we're all like, because they do a lot of stuff with like bulletproof vests and stuff like that. So we're like, oh, maybe we had a long running theory that she was also working for like, maybe she was like CIA or like she was like yeah. a, another kind of spy. But no, she just is a poor woman that dies and gets shot in the head. Chains, his plot is to murder the, the new governor. Chain succeeds. Yeah. Our hero Stone fails to stop the bad guy from doing the thing the bad guy wants to do. Yeah. In addition to, to the governor being killed, also the entire Supreme Court, Court of Mississippi and all of the hostages get murdered. <laughs> yeah, there's he, that moment he where they're like, we succeeds. He super succeeds <laughs> in his evil quest. The, the, yeah, the bad guy succeeds more than any action movie villain has ever succeeded before in the history of action movies. And it's amazing. Even even though Stone kills tons of people throughout the movie, he does not kill Lance Henriksen. Lance no. Henriksen's alive at the oh end of the movie. Oh my god, yeah, the, the guy who would be maybe the funny comic relief sidekick kills he him. Yeah. He gets the yeah. final shot. Mm -hmm. And Lance Hen Henriksen's dummy falls off the thing yeah. and dies. We have to talk about um, the helicopter getting taken down. Oh yeah. That was just Helicopters. incredible. Because it's, it's set up like a duel, but then there's also this other guy indoors with a, on a motorcycle. And we're like, okay, what, 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 what's going to happen with that? So the guy like charges him. He shoots him off the motorcycle. Motorcycle is still going somehow, even without anything powering it. And it goes through a window and into a chopper that is outside of that window and everything explodes a little bit before it should. Yeah. And it's fucking magnificent. And... Yeah. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! You were, you were, yes! It Most also right. exploded right before it was supposed to. Yeah. Every explosion A goes off. A little early. Can I give a credit for the squibs? Oh, the squibs were fantastic in this movie. These were 
every time somebody gets shot in this movie, it feels like it has impact. Oh, yeah. No, this is the, the RoboCop board room scene. But yeah. repeatedly. Repeatedly. I, I was honestly surprised to see, because so many of these types of action movies from this era, everybody just gets shot and they fall over and that's kind of it. But this one really lingers on the gore. It also wasn't that violent like in the first half, and then mm. the second half, yeah, like no, the blood went everywhere. Yeah. Like it was, well, yeah. The first half was tit heavy. <laughs> yeah, and then you said, I think you said it was replaced by helicopters. Because <laughs> then it was all helicopters. It was all helicopters. <laughs> then squibs. And then squibs, yeah. Oh, oh. 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 Wow. That was a good dummy. That was great. No, I don't think it was a dummy. That was like a guy in a fake beard. That was a stunt Fuck. double. Well, that's why I wonder how self-aware is this movie? Because it almost feels like a brilliant parody that never goes too far in showing its yeah. hand. I mean, I think that la we had a lot of debate over that last shot where the credits roll. Like some of us were like, oh, this is like him. So it's just a long tracking shot of Stone leaving the Capitol where he just fucked everything up. <laughs> And uh, it's just his face, and he's like not emoting at all, and he's walking pa past all these terrified people who There's just like, a, like yeah, a woman sitting on the steps, just bawling her eyes yeah, out. Yeah, because she just saw a fucking motorcycle go through a window into a helicopter. <laughs> she could feel the heat of the flame. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. It's, it's Schrodinger's emotion. Is yeah. this is this supposed to be badass or is yeah. this supposed to be sad? And he's covered in blood and like scars and just like walking through everybody, and then at one point just stops and. Thanks, and then the it and then fades it just out. Credits, yeah. um, and we're like wondering if he's like really taking in all the destruction he caused and how badly just he fucked about, this up. Man, I really screwed this one up. As a protagonist, he is he's trapped on the helicopter, right? And and there's no like in in movie terms, there's no like plan. Mm -hmm. He's not a hero. He's not like oh you know before the helicopter takes off, I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of these. These binds. I'm gonna ride my motorcycle, Ugh. and I'm gonna say, "Okay, they're coming. We got to do this, this, and this." There's no. He's I have to very, think on my feet, like uh, John McClane. Yeah. Yes, he's very passive. Yeah, he in really all is. the events that are happening, everything happens before he breaks his binds. Yeah. Lance Henriksen. He does throw the guy out of the helicopter just in time for the bomb to go off, just with the guy. There's the bomb in the helicopter. I forgot about that. Which he was breaks, great. He breaks like the. the the uh, brake fluid on the helicopter is yeah. like spraying everybody. And that's everybody. when Jack said my favorite thing I've ever heard. <laughs> and you, you guys should just cut to that now. It's incredible. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but you won't like it. <laughs> <laughs> By the time he escapes the helicopter. So good. Good job, Jack. It's Thank so you. good. I'm very funny. Thank you. You're very funny. <laughs> Book them, boys. <laughs> Everyone's dead. Good job, Brian Bosworth. I've never seen an operation so botched in my entire life. <laughs> oh, you're gonna have one final thing. Uh, Brian Bosworth. Here he goes. Bosworth. Oh! 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 He's gonna fall. Who shot him? Yeah! Oh. You know, a, like at the end of Die Hard, you know, like, you know, Hans Gruber has his yeah. wife here. Like, you know, that should have been it. Like, Nancy should have been there, yeah. and like, he has to save Nancy, but What's no, the Die Hard equivalent? John McClane is handcuffed uh, to like a pole. Yeah. H Holly McClane has been murdered. Murdered. The, the Nakatomi the building has dead. been d d demolished. <laughs> All the hostages are dead. Everybody's dead. John Including McClane like the comes people down, and down there. Nobody's around. Like the truck gets away with the money. Yeah. <laughs> Hans Gruber has all the money. <laughs> And then John McClane like like hunts down Hans Gruber like like at the airport like yeah by, like by a also few miles by going away. in through the roof and just kind of falling and getting up yeah. like through it remember that when he when he jumps out of the helicopter oh, right. crashes through the gra glass oh, ceiling lands on his face <laughs> and then just gets up like it's nothing and now he's in, now he's there now he's an active protagonist <laughs> and he's gonna shoot um, the people who have already gotten away with everything. <laughs> the glass ceiling and the 50-foot drop broke his fall. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> he landed on marble, Rich. <laughs> I do. I do want to point out just because Rich and I recently reviewed Near Dark. We have a little Near Dark reunion in this. Lance Henriksen, of course, but then Bearded Man. Bearded Man is back, baby. <laughs> He's always some kind of scuzzy biker. He's apparently. always a scuzzy biker. <laughs> this uh, and uh, Terminator 2 and Near Dark. He's is, great. Is this he is one of those guys who's just like a real biker? I, I don't know. He's just... <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> He's just... He looks like one of those guys that's like a real biker. He's that good. The movies, that good. movies need bikers. They just hire real bikers, and he's a real biker that gets hired. It's I like that guy even. in Jaws that was just a fisherman who lived in Martha's Vineyard, and they were just like, be in the movie. Just like be the guy that just says sea shanties as we're blowing up the sea with dynamite. Just be Look, that guy. If you want authentic bikers in a movie, just get an authentic biker. <laughs> Are you aware of authentic bikers? I mean, this movie's full of, chock full of bikers. Some of them have to be real bikers, right? Listen, got some P2P here. This is impossible to get. In about a week, there's gonna be a truck coming through here with three dozen 50-gallon drums on it. That's enough crank to wind up half the Gulf Coast. Why invent a drug? Because they didn't have the rights to crack. <laughs> I couldn't get the crack people to sign off on the, the approval. It's, it's harder than you think to get the rights to crack. It's like happy birthday, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's why happy you birthday. You never hear the full they story. had a pharmaceutical truck, Rich. That's what they used in that one scene, so yeah. they had to kind of come up with a fake They drug. couldn't come to an agreement with Pablo Escobar. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, stone cold? No. No, no, no. Who's in it? Brian Bosworth? Who? In his film debut, you say. <laughs> I think one of you, I think it was Mike, he said like this movie lived up to its promise of being like a null holds barred, like nonstop action thing. Yes. Because it was just like every, every scene, someone's getting fucking shoved around, just like, just getting, just moved and, around. And even, and the few scenes where that isn't happening, there's things in it that are just visually absurd. Here for our COVID vaccines. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where it is in the story, but there's the scene where all the bikers go to visit their friend in the hospital. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they like, they like, he like looks, he looks under like his blanket. Lance and he's Henriksen's like, looks at like his dick. your dick's not burned. Dick's a bit, ha, ha, and his face is so fucked up. Yeah, oh. yeah. Oh, whoa. oh my God. Oh, the, he's a grenade victim. Yeah. yeah. We came here to punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> they brought him down. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you my. Hey, hey take that harmonica. fucking harmonica down to the car. <laughs> That's it's too far. <laughs> that too much, man. My dead brother's name is Harmonica. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking oh shit out of your God. mouth. Did Lance Henriksen win an Oscar for this performance? <laughs> he must. He should have. He should have. I will peel your skin off with a knife dipped in shit. Again, this is the second movie in the Stone Cold trilogy. Uh, that's, yeah. And the first movie we never saw. We never saw. And then so. the third one never existed because this nobody saw been, Stone Cold in This the should have been Stone Colder. Mm. But it was, in fact, Stone Cold. <laughs> what would the last one be called? Stone Cold Rises? <laughs> Stone Cold Rises. No, that's a soft reboot 20 years later. No, they, they bring rebooted back. with Stone Cold Generations. Oh. Yes, yes. <laughs> Stone Cold Absolute Zero. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's <Yeah>. good. <laughs> Should like the the second Stone Cold movie have just been like a, a psychodrama? Like he's he's just talking to psychiatrists for like most of the movie. Yeah. They're going back through his childhood and talking about mistakes he's made in his life. <laughs> he has to come to a greater understanding of himself. And then the motorcycle exploded before it hit the car. <laughs> I don't understand. It just rocked me to my core. <laughs> it's not about the motorcycle. Tell me about your parents. I don't want to talk about my parents. <laughs> I, will, I swear to God, I will throw you through a window. <laughs> swear to God. I will turn you into a dummy and then you'll explode. <laughs> oh my God. What's the significance of your monitor lizard? <laughs> Listen up, man. You're gonna have to eat your grub if you wanna be a stud. Why a monitor lizard? <laughs> he requires the exact groceries I purchase. <laughs> Do you see yourself as being cold-blooded? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. 
Uh, okay, so like I think if they need mm. a remake. Uh, oh, hey, Jack. Yeah, if you have a second. Um, um, okay, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Let me. Listen, I know you're you're working with uh, Christopher, Christopher Nolan, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I, uh, I have a script that I would really love for him to read. I think he would really respond positively yeah, to okay, it. Yeah. I, got, I happen to have it right here. Oh, wow. Um, it's Just called, happened to have it right there. Yeah, yeah I, well, I knew you were coming. It, what's, it, what's it called? Uh, it's called uh, My Dog Has a Dog House, and the dog house is haunted by a ghost. Haunted by a ghost is a little bit re redundant, right? Well, he'll he'll get it. He'll get it. He'll get it. It's, yeah, okay. it's I mean the doghouse is there is a literal doghouse, but it's also metaphorical. Um, it really is. But a that doghouse is haunted. Yeah, it, you it don't really... need to say by a ghost. I feel like we all kind of get that. Well, I mean, if you read the script, it makes sense. Sure. I'll, um, you know what? I'll uh, here uh, give it to I me. think it has a lot in common with Interstellar. I think it would be right up his alley. Cool. Cool. So if Let you could just just, um... just get it to him, and yeah, I yeah, think yeah. He, cool. I think he'd, I think he'll like it a lot. Yeah, so. I'm gonna, I'll right. take a look. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Cool. Bad movies are back in bog form. <laughs> Do you like lakes? Well, this is called bog. Mike, tell us about bog. Oh boy. Okay, bog. <laughs> bog. 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 Great trailer. Uh, Great trailer. Great trailer. Bog. A film by Don Kiesler, written by Carl and Kit. Keep, keep it simple, Mike. Don't get bogged down in the details. <laughs> The line is, uh, are you telling me there's some kind of Dracula? <laughs> could, could we have a Dracula running loose out there? Uh, Mike, you want to tell us about the opening plot of Bog? I'll try. Okay. Uh, Bog is a film from the late 70s. 79, yeah. 1979. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, and we're done. And we're done. Well, it starts with um, uh, the worst men in the world taking their wives on a vacation that they hate. Technically, it starts before then. There's oh. one fisherman who's throwing around dynamite. Oh. Just casually. Casually. Right. Throwing casually around some dynamite. Like, and then he picks up, like, two fish, and then he's... Fucking dead. Yeah. Hey. Ah! Oh no! Just fell out of his boat. And then two more scuzzy men come along yeah. and they mistreat their wives. Who just don't want to be there. I think one of them refers to their wife as a slave person. <laughs> <laughs> just how the hell do you expect me to get through this stuff, huh? I need an axe. Ask me no question, slave person. I lead, and you follow. Ew. Oh, God. What? 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 He just called his wife a slave person. <laughs> he did. <laughs> They've apparently forced their wives to come on their disgusting fishing trip to the bar. <laughs> they, they drive their, 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 like, their station wagon out to the middle of nowhere. Straight yeah. out of National Lampoon and, vacation. And their, their dialogue in the beginning is like out of kind of like a, I don't know, like a 1940s like double act, like an Abbott and Costello, like these two dames don't like anything that's not Saks Fifth Avenue or whatever. And they, they... Matter of fact, they probably won't be happy till we get them inside Saks Fifth Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. Oh man, give me another beer. Will man, you? women suck, am I right? <laughs> it's not like they're sitting right there. <laughs> The female characters in all the movies we watched today have not been uh, <laughs> not been well written. They they like drink their beers still yeah. in the, the plastic uh, rings. Yeah. Right? They're, the, but and then we're like, oh god, okay, all four of these characters are gonna die. Yeah. In the first like two minutes. And, and for sure the guys first, right. right? Like for sure the men are gonna die first in like a horrible way. Nope. nope. Just these poor women. Those ladies be dead. Look, they were nagging. Okay. They, they, gotta, weren't, they, they weren't nagging. Go. They, they, I'm going to defend them. They were not nagging. They were just like upset to be there because what the fuck is is there for them to do? Yeah. They're no, women. you're you're on their side. And but from the perspective of the movie and the characters, sure, sure. Like, those are nagging wives that got to fucking die. Chuck, I want to go home. Oh my god, she's so <laughs> desperate to leave. Let her leave. She's like crying. Just a big log or something. All this time complaining, and nothing out here is going. She has hurt nothing you. to do. Oh, we just saw a sound. Just no sound. Shut. What's happening? What? <laughs> what? Oh, what? Whoa! So we're, we're, we're talking movies, right? Okay. This is terrible. 
This is, this is terrible. It's, it's blurry. It, it's blurry. It's, it's that, old. That's what makes it so much Gross. more miserable than it yeah, otherwise would be. All I see are leaves. But that's it's all like, I can tell. Where are we? So we're, so we're like in this the resort town. Hey, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's fishing season. Yeah. All the tourists are coming in. Hi, I'm the mayor of so-and-so. I'm the town sheriff. We set up our characters. Mm -hmm. This is the little yeah. city. The, the, here comes the car. We, we it's like someone found someone's home movies. Yeah, in, as, in as the far dirt. as I can tell, this town has one building that's a lab, a police station, like all wrapped up in one. But did it's they like, ever introduce where, no. when, why, how, who? No. No, no. I, I don't even know where on earth this takes place. I was thinking, I don't know, my hand, I, I think it's because I was in still in the stone cold mindset. I was like Mississippi or like somewhere in the south. I don't know. That would like, make sense. Where but... are bogs? I don't know, Neil. I wish I did. I just don't know. I do. I don't know, but this is clearly a lake. Was, it's clearly a massive lake. But we found out it's, it was shot in Wisconsin. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's nothing I was in the thinking. I was thinking that. like Maine. I'm looking for lobsters. <laughs> I'm, I, I want a lobster roll. <laughs> And I'm watching this, and I'm like, "Where's my lobster roll?" And it, and it said Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah. No one Middle ever told nowhere, me that. Wisconsin. So the two wives go missing. These two assholes go to the police. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, and they're like, I've, uh, "Our wives got. They're missing. They're in, they're in a bog." And then it's like, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> they're, they're in a bog somewhere. And uh, it's like a chief of police guy, a man who I have no idea what he does. Think we think he's a doctor he's or a scientist. general professor man. Yeah, yeah. And then a biologist who is actually named in this Gilda. Gil Ginny, 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 Glenn. Ginny Glenn. Ginny Glenn. Living fossil, breathing stone, mineralized tissue, and slimy. Stop talking about my penis. <laughs> This monster is all of the things. <laughs> Literally all of the things. <laughs> She's our protagonist, yeah, basically. And, yeah. And they're like, uh, I don't know, they go out to like find, uh, they find the bodies and they're like, they're all like drained of blood. Right. right? Dracula. Yeah. yeah, and then they're Which like, what could have done this? And they're like analyzing things and they're like, we think it might be like a thing that, what, what, what could drain the blood out of someone <laughs> like this and make an incision mark like this? And that's where our favorite line comes from. Yeah. Uh, you're telling me this is some kind of Dracula? Which is <laughs> so good. I love that it's not vampire, it's Dracula. It's so good. I was telling Mike, I once saw Norm MacDonald do stand-up, and he had a whole bit about how um, he was talking about Twilight, but instead of calling him vampires, he called him Draculas, and it made me laugh forever. It's like, the thing about uh, Draculas is that uh, it can't uh, go in the sunlight. Like, it was just, it was so, so good. Maybe I'm dense, but what kind of thing would have a hypodemic nurdle for a mouse? Hypodemic nurdle. Hypodemic nurdle. Hey, he had some drinks, okay? So then they, I don't know, they just, then they spend a lot of time analyzing things, and then yeah. two older people uh, kiss for a good while. There's a, yeah, love. Story. Yeah, it's very like, unconventional for a movie to have an, an older couple fall in love. Yeah, I did right on the silver that. screen, right before your eyes. It's very magical. Silver and everybody's screen. the silver hair screen. But it also kind of, it also kind of uh, made me think, like it, kind of like this movie, like maybe there was another, like all this character development should have happened where there's like a will they, won't they. Like this came out of nowhere. <laughs> look, yeah. it's very important that they look into microscopes and they just yeah. say things like cancer cells, Draculas. Yeah. <laughs> Draculas. My God, this is bizarre. Definitely some sort of a reproductive organism. Abnormal amount of heparin in the blood serum. Chitinous tissue. Looks like malignant cells. But it's organic for sure. Molybdium? Not exactly a seed. I was looking at a metallurgical cross section. Can tell them? A 6B group metal. Could be integument. Did you notice the crystalline structure of the cells? Yes, I did. Not exactly an egg. It's of a carapace. Subcellular organelles. Was it was a cancer Dracula. A walking, breathing, living, 100% cancerous organism out there? No, yeah. we called it Dracula cancer. Like, if, you, if, it, if it gets you, you're going to get Dracula the cancer. Ice yeah. Age, oh, yeah. The Ice Age brought it about. We don't even know what it looks like. Oh, it's like a fish man. There's, there's it's all a these, fish man. All it has these... lobster claws. It looks nothing like anything on this no, box. No, no. There's all um, these interesting things. Like, it's, it's, it's made out of 100% cancer cells. It sucks blood completely from the body. It, it's a Dracula. It's got special fish eggs. And then you see it, and it's just a man in a fish costume. It looks, <laughs> it looks like a trout. It's a fucking trout with legs. That's why they saved it for the last five minutes yeah, of the movie. Yeah, all it does is this. 
Yeah. And then they're, they like blast it with jizz. <laughs> yeah, it's just <laughs> a jizz can. And, and then, then like, they covered yeah. it with a, a jizz net. <laughs> yeah. They they're the like, these net nets are it. coated in jizz. <laughs> he hates it. And Johnny Knoxville shows up with his jizz can. <laughs> <laughs> and then they realize that hitting it with a car is a better solution. <laughs> they just run. They just. <laughs> They pin it to a tree with a car and then it explodes and that's how they kill the monster. They spent hours looking into microscopes trying to figure out a scientific way to bring this thing down. They fly in a professor who comes in on a seaplane. Right, right. An ich, uh, uh, what, was it, what was his job title? Ich, oh God. Ichthyologist. Ichthyologist. Yeah, yeah. like, and he, like, he just, he doesn't help. They just fucking pin it to a tree. <laughs> so good. Did they pin the monster? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. You, you make it. A, you make it Alaska. You make it like some kind of like fishing town. There's a lot of like fishing yeah, business. Sure. Yeah. And the monster ends up being like some kind of like like rare thing. And like some forces like they want to like preserve. It's endangered. We have to protect it. We have to stop the fishing yeah. in the area. And that causes like the locals to lose their shit to want to hunt it down to kill it. Yeah. yeah. Then you have some kind of story going on. Exactly. Because it's like, it, who the fuck wants to fish in a bog? You know what I mean? Like, like you're right. If it was like about fishing, like the whole town, like we can't cancel. It's like the we can't cancel the you know like uh, Amity needs summer Fourth dollars. It's that right, yeah, right, we can't right, cancel right. Fourth of July. But then like the co one of the cops' first solutions to the problem is like we'll use more dynamites to blow up the entire bog. More powerful dynamite. More yeah. powerful dynamite. Marky. Wait, is he detonating that with a car battery? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's attaching like speaker wire to a car. Oh, battery. oh my lord. It seems like every element, like this is a trash movie, right? Yeah. Every element that's that's like what you want to sell it for has been removed. Yeah. And, and the junk is left. Yeah. Like like you want to make a drive-in creature feature, right? You want you want the monster. You never see it. You never see it. So creature feature, you see the monster. Ah, the monsters on screen a lot. Blah 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 yeah. blah blah. Or you have a lot of young people in it. There's all elderly people in this. Yeah. <laughs> Just thinking things through, and then they just run it over with a car. It's like the wheat and the chaff. This is just, just a giant pile of chaff. <laughs> Should have called it chaff. That literally, that's what it is. It's all the like the things you don't want mm -hmm. in a B movie. Maybe the old people like encountered the creature when they were younger, and it's like this, again, it's we're the, adding the, our own back. That's trying to rationalize it. <laughs> the thing from thirty years in the past has come back to haunt them. You can do something. You can do something, movie. You don't have to do nothing. <laughs> My crotch is kind of like a bog. <laughs> oh, oh, that's that's what the title really refers to. <laughs> Elderly genitals. That was like as uncomfortable as the sex scenes in the room, but it was just two people kissing for like a bit. That's enough. Was this movie made? It was just like a recreational activity from like the local yeah. old person's home. Just something, you know? something to keep them moving. Well, what is it? Busy. Where, yeah. what, who made this movie and why? When the elderly scuba diver. Uh, Shady Oaks. When the elderly school. Sh <laughs> the Shady Oaks retirement. The Shady Oaks center. retirement home made this movie in their spare time. I don't know, Neil. I wish I did. I just don't know. When the old scuba diver swallowed bog water, I lost my shit. Jeff! Jeff! Pull us in! I'm fucked my lineup! I swallowed bog water! Is that bad? <laughs> Yeah, the water is full of cancer. Something's oh, happening. Oh, it's, it grabbed him and he's spinning around. They had a lot of those things where there, it could have been solved with a take two, like the, all the guys that are like going down the hill and almost falling over. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of that. They're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, he did not handle that hill well. He almost fucking beefed it, man. Whoa. This movie was shot on 16 millimeter, transferred to eight millimeter, Transferred to VHS, duplicated to seven VHS, generations. Seven generations. Yeah. Transferred then, back to film, then duplicated to VHS. Then somehow <laughs> transferred to a cassette tape. <laughs> 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 somehow somehow transferred an audio cassette tape. <laughs> an audio cassette tape. Retransferred to an iPod one. <laughs> an iPod one. <laughs> Retransferred. And then to finally on Blu-ray. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and they updated the cover. They updated the cover. They updated the cover, but the film has been transferred 148 times through, through 3,000 formats. <laughs> And, uh, it, uh, yeah. Who's the bait now? We oh. were baited into watching this. Brad? Mm. Here's something. We definitely have a Dracula. <laughs> we got the results of the test back. <laughs> we we, see, we like, definitely have a Dracula. Dracula. <laughs> we see like the slide of blood that's got like little vampire bats in the blood. <laughs> <laughs> Even its rating is a lie. It says it's rated PG for monster action. There's no monster action. <laughs> Should have been rated R for those hot kisses. <laughs> it's, not, it's not the worst movie we watched on the show, but it's on the low end of the spectrum. I, I, I can say, like, how, how do you fuck up a monster in a lake movie? Yeah, watch Bog, Bog. and you'll, you'll know. How, how do you fuck it up so bad? They did it. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> Came in here. Fucking nailed it. <laughs> that was great. Uh, Jay, right. I hope you set up the camera. Yeah, let's go set up down there. Uh, yeah. fuck. Is there a place you guys, I don't know, is there a place where you put like old snacks or something? Oh, yeah, oh, oh hey, Jack, Jack, Jack. Yeah. Uh, I heard, heard you're working with uh, Christopher? Christopher Nolan? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm working, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, I was, I was wondering if maybe you could like, uh, mm -hmm. you know, show him the script I'm working on. Uh, it's, it's an idea I came up with. Yeah. It's an original idea, it's called The Dark Knight. He already made that movie. No, no, no. This is uh, Dark Knight, N-I-G-H-T. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a coming-of-age story about a man who, who finds himself, you know, during a night where it's so dark you can't see shit. Okay, man. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll give it a look. I'll, just, I'll meet you in the other room. Oh, I'm yeah, just, yeah. No, that's great. Yeah, no. Let's page through it really quick. Cool. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thanks, man. Just kind of take Thanks, a second man. with it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. Yeah. It's now time to pick, I think, I think. Uh, Should one of us just intro that part then? Hey, go but. ahead, Jay. Go ahead, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> this is really good, by the way. It looks like orange juice. H hurry up, Jay. We got about 10 good more minutes on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. All right. Well, now we got to pick a best of the worst. Uh, this should take five seconds. Stone cold. Stone cold. Mm. You're next, Jay. Stone Cold. I still got to think about it. Okay. Uh, the Stone Cold it was one of the best films I've ever seen in my whole life. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's yeah. It's it just toppled under its own. I don't think we did enough to to make people understand how amazing Stone Cold is. It, it's. I, I was very skeptical. Mm -hmm. I was like, you no. were, you were like, I don't know. It went over the top, and then it found a new top, and then it <laughs> went over that. Right. Brilliant. Stone Cold, brilliant. Uh, brilliant it's, movie. It's fucking great. Uh, best of the worsts all around. Stone Cold. Do we want to destroy Bog? Bog, yeah. it still had its moments. Like, everything still had its moments. I wasn't like, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'd be okay blowing it up. <laughs> <laughs> throw it in a bog. Throw it in a, throw bog. It in a bog. Yeah, why not? Sure. Actually, that's amazing. You throw it in a bog, it like washes up on a shore. Some kid is just like, I wonder what's in the bog. <laughs> Bug. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta watch this. Oh, it's terrible. Could, could we have a Dracula running loose out there? Well, that was a great best of the worst episode that we were all involved in. It's time to go home. <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh, uh, wait, Jack, just stay there. We, we just gotta make sure we're recording. Okay, Thanks. yeah, sure. Hey, Jay. Hey, man. Yeah, hey. It's cool. how's it going? Hey, I hear you're um you're doing a movie with Christopher. Yeah. Christopher Nolan, right? Yep. Yeah. Can you teach me how to read? What? 